Hello guys and compliments of the day. If you're just joining me for the very first time, I want to say a big shout out to you. Make sure you like this channel, share this video, uh, hit the notification bell, and to keep me in the game, you have to actually subscribe. There's actually something really weird happening in Africa right now. Um, people have been talking about China recolonizing Africa and it's not going on notice as so many things have really been happening uh the recent most recent incident happened in uh uganda where the only international airport the Entebbe international airport which is the only international airport that uganda has has been taken over by china and this is not unconnected with the fact that africans have been taking great loans from this country and paying them it's actually an issue so i don't know if uh it's really worth it to have to take this kind of loans and we cannot actually pay so i would like to know in the comment section what you think about china taking over uh it's heavy airport but one of the most viral video that just went out a few days ago uh is about a guy who actually uh, was seen selling grasshoppers on the aircraft that's on the same Ugandan aircraft. Please watch this video and please drop me a comment and tell me how you feel about what is actually happening in Africa. Is Africa really getting recolonized again or are we selling our uh, birthright? To Can we not afford to fund our own projects? The revenue we generate for our project this is an airport that has almost 2 million passengers every year. Are we not making enough in taxes and in fares? And even from the airlines that use this airport, what is actually happening that it has gotten to the extent that other nationalities are taking over See the issue in Uganda? You can see that right now in Nigeria, we don't even have a national carrier. So I would like to know what do you think is the issue and why is it that it's getting to the level where we cannot handle our own business and we have to bring foreigners to run it for us? Can we not maintain our own projects? Don't we have professionals that can actually handle these projects? Why should we be going to be borrowing every time? So please watch the video and leave your comment for me in the comment section. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Don't forget as you move, hit the notification bell and also make sure that you like this video and share this video. Thank you once again for watching and I hope to see you on my next video.